too. So we'll talk, 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 talk. Be excited. And I'll keep coming up with these ideas. Because it feels good to talk about ideas. And some people live in the idea space. And they always love to talk about how they're preparing and getting it ready. That was that was me at one point in time. That's you today. I agree. You suck, your business sucks, and you'll never be successful. How many people paid you five grand? You never lied to anybody? Okay, real quick. Anything you see in here? What? It's over, bro. Mm. What's your belief system? You're married, yes? To a woman? Or you let your wife wear pants? When I ask you for something and you don't give it to me, are you knowing that you're lying to me? Lying? You Real cannot you move being this comfortable. But you be in the crib and your drawers just like... Hey, yo. My job is to make you fail. My job is to make you quit. My job is to make you cry. But if you survive it, success is on the other side. Do it. You watched the hot seat, right? Yeah. What do you What do you expect to happen today? I expect um, for you to just let me know that I'm kind of doing something right. Oh, so you're looking for validation? Yeah, validation, I guess. You're looking for validation. Not assistance, just to know you're doing the right thing. But if I on tell you right you're doing track. the wrong, if you're on the wrong track, mm -hmm. will you fight to prove to me that you're on the right track? No, but I just want you to be able to back it up, you know? Yeah, for sure. But I'm okay with it. Okay, you should fight, though. If you know you're go yeah. doing the right thing, you're like, oh, But I really don't know wrong. if I'm doing the right thing. Ah, that's good. So you work a job. Yeah, I work a job. I um, have a transportation company. Okay. I only work two hours a day, 8 to 10. You work a job and you have a transportation company? That's my job, my transportation company. You yeah. have your own transportation yeah, company? Yeah, I'm an independent carrier. Got it. Okay. Good, I work good. from 8 p.m. and I be back home like at 10 p.m. So I have the whole day to do what so I want. So you work two hours a day? Two hours a day. Really? Yes. How much money do you make? Like nine fifty a week. Every Working Wednesday. two hours a day? Two hours a day. Hey, your wife work? She's a teacher. Where y'all getting to this money out here? We trying. And you only work two hours a day. Two hours a day. That's awesome. Right. <laughs> okay. So, are you trying to grow the company or no? My transportation company. Yeah, I had grew it. Like during COVID, I grew. I had employees, everything. I bought box trucks, vans. Then when COVID slowed down, I lost a lot of my contracts. Mm -hmm. I had like over 40 contracts with Petri Media Cares. Oh, wow. Now I only have 12. Okay. So I only work for myself now. Like I don't have any employees, none of that. Got it. So Okay. Okay. So why don't you deliver earlier in the day? I really don't want to do it. I really want to be an entrepreneur, like doing something I really love. This, this carrier business, it just fell in my lap. Mm -hmm. I was just on Craigslist. And I reached out to someone. They gave me contracts. Mm. You know, I really don't enjoy just driving all day, and I'm okay with that. But why don't you just get another vehicle and have someone else driving all day? I will, once it picks back up. Once what picks back up? Just COVID, because it's like a COVID contract. Cause well, why like, don't this, you get this... another contract from somewhere? People need transportation all the time. Yeah. And I know this because I just interviewed a guy who has a transportation company, he looked at my van out there and was like, yo, you ain't doing nothing with the van? I'm like, kinda. Like, we go back and forth between storage and delivering stuff, but he's like, yo, you can put a driver in there and you can make some money all throughout the day. He, he showed me yeah. there was this app constantly getting con getting offers coming in. Mm -hmm. so, I really don't enjoy it like that. You lazy? I'm not lazy. I'm lazy probably when it comes to the transportation business. Yeah, it's only two hours a day. Yeah, I'm good with that. And what you do with the rest of your day? That's what, I'm, that's what I'm here for. What do you do with the rest of your day? Making videos, coming up with new ideas. I'm always working. So nothing? Something. Coming up with new ideas isn't working. Making videos ain't working unless you're selling something. What are you selling? Yeah, this one, selling my hats. I'm making booking sites for people. Like she wanted me to tell you that I just made a booking site for somebody for $50. She laughed at me. You made a booking site for someone for fifty dollars. Yeah, yesterday. How long did it take you? Take me less than an hour to make a booking site. So, 
let's say it's a you make a thousand dollars a week, five days a week, working two hours on the mm-hmm. the transportation side, which is about a hundred dollars an hour. You could make more. Yeah, you just don't want to, but you'd rather. And I'd imagine that booking site probably take more than an hour. They didn't really have too many services they offer, so it really. Do you want to be a graphic designer? I don't. Or I just designer? know. I just don't listen to podcasts and stuff. I just don't talk myself how to do these things. You know Got what it. I'm saying? Okay, so your number one product is your hats. Can yes. I see one? Yes, sir. This is yours, actually. This is actually a I just, okay. Did you write this with a Sharpie? Expo mark in the car. Look, man, I I see y'all enjoying the episode, but entrepreneurship is tough, as you can see. Um, But if you want to make more money, get more information, and, uh, and really have more support, you need a community, okay? Morning Meetup is a community that I've started six years ago, where every single morning, I'm talking to a group of entrepreneurs, giving them more information, giving them support, and teaching them how to make more money, how to grow their business, okay? We have a book club that you need to be a part of. We have meetups that you need to be a part of. The missing link is connection to not only a coach, but a community, okay? You don't have to join every single morning, okay? But if you wake up this morning, you know that we are there Monday through Friday, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, okay? Join our book club. Uh, You don't have to speak, you can be quiet, you don't have to have your camera on, but the more you're on, you want people to see your face, Um, and connect with us, okay? The morning meetup will get you more money, more information, and more support this year, 2024, okay? So it's only $497 for the entire year. That's 250 calls with the community teaching you how to do this thing called entrepreneurship, okay? So if this... If this interview resonates with you at any point and you say, yo, you know what? The way he's talking to him or the way he's talking to her, I need him to talk to me like that. Well, join us every single morning. And quiet is kept. Most of the people that are on the hot seat come from the Morning Meetup community. You all get priority. All right? So go to themorningmeetup.com. Let's get back to the episode. Do you, Hold on. So you sell these. I sell them. This, it's a whole story behind it, man. I told my wife we need to come up with a new business, 2024. Mm-hmm. So we came up with a business, right? And I said, we don't need to do nothing until we have a marketing budget. So I did a photo shoot, acting like I was homeless. Mm-hmm. Not homeless, need money for marketing. Yep. So this, this is where the idea came from. And I don't want to move. Need money for marketing. Yeah, I don't want to move until I have an actual marketing budget because I feel like a lot of businesses fail because they don't have no marketing budget. And our competitors. Hold on real quick. How do I look, Kay? You like the hat? Would you buy it? Buy it? Yeah. Would you, <laughs> this, <laughs> would you buy it? it? I don't put a price on it. I just ask for a donation. So I don't care if it's $5, $3. I don't care. Okay. I don't have any money. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. I don't. So your business is selling hats where you're just asking for a donation. Mm -hmm. Do you need money for marketing? Yes, we do. What are you marketing? For our new business? We marketing. (sighs) Okay, I said I need money for marketing, right? But I feel like... This should be a very, very simple answer. What am I marketing? I have a Mm t-shirt brand, and I need money for marketing. So... I would, I would put the hat on, mm-hmm. or I would sell someone the hat to say, hey, if you buy this hat, this goes towards the money I needed for marketing, because I have a product that I want to market. Mm-hmm. But you created a hat that said need money for marketing, but you don't have a product that you're marketing. I mean, we have a, the new business. You know what that reminds me of? Mm-hmm. Those little kids with the wrinkled paper outside a Walmart parking mm-hmm. lot that say, hey... I need some money for, for my football team. Yeah. You're lying. Yeah, and I really didn't even, I just wanted, like, I came up with this idea. I was like, okay, it's a good idea, man. But I'm really, it really don't even have to be towards nothing. I want it to be like a brand, a lifestyle for people who understands need money for marketing. I see. So the product is the hat. Yeah, that's, that's really it. Why but didn't you just say that? You just, you making me think. Uh, you make, you that know. wasn't a hard question. Yeah. I'm it like, yo, what's hard. the product that you're it trying to market? Hard. What is the new business? Because you said you had a new business. It's a press-on business. Press-on nails. Oh. Because it's getting expensive out here. Yep. And I noticed from her, 
they can't afford to go to the nail salon every two weeks or whatever. Yeah. So we reached out to some people to get some press on nails. It's easy to get, but I want to market to everybody. I just don't want to market to like my hometown, to people around. I want to just be global. Okay. And to be global, we got to have a big marketing budget because we compete with Kiss. Got it. Real quick, the marketing budget, is it going into these hats to say need money for marketing or we're going into the press on business? Press, press on, on business. Nails. And that's why I write them. But a second ago, I just asked you what's the product, and you said the hat is the product. That's what you told me. And then we got into the press on nails, and you said, well, I need the money for the marketing for the press on nails. What business are we going to be running here? The press on business. You're sure? I'm positive. So we're not trying to build out this global hat brand? That wasn't my idea. To that's build. what you just said. Listen, bro. listen, listen. That wasn't my idea to build out this global hat business, right? Mm-hmm. It just happened. Like when I put what it out just there, happened? like people was reaching out for the hats. It didn't even supposed to be like this. Like what? But I mean, so want the hats. I haven't sold. And I gave some away. I probably gave away fifteen. Hold on, because you said it wasn't supposed to be like this. Describe the this. You're it, saying it, it like like this is this viral sensation. It's and viral you, where I'm from. You get what I'm saying? How like, many? How many sold? I haven't sold, and I gave fifteen away. Fifteen hats. Fifteen hats is viral to you. Where I'm from. Yeah. 15, we gave More people fi- want them. More of course, because you're giving them away. Who wouldn't want something that's being given away? But the, everybody, it's not reaching. Everybody don't want the hat. It's people that understand I need market money for marketing that wants the hat. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to just give the hats to anybody who's just walking by. I want to give the hats to people who have a business, who just understand the whole concept of need money for marketing. I get that 100%. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be a, because there are a lot of people that want it, mm-hmm. you and just I'm, decide to build out the brand. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Are we building out this hat brand or the press on nail brand? Because you can't do them both. You're right. Not right now, unless you're doing the hats and you're doing the this, press on I nails. I put her on the press on and let me just. And then you focus on the hats. Yes. You are super confused. Did you just came up with that answer? Kind of. No, that's, that's been a thing. Yeah, like, I, I hit her up at work like, make sure, have you reached out to this vendor to see, you know. Okay. And I just be at home doing my hats. Well, how many do you have? I just went and got some more on the way here. I just bought 10 more. You be lying to me, bro. No, I'm... You said I'd be at home doing my hats. And you got these hats that you did. And you said you did those in the car. Listen, I got a whole bunch of hats at home, right? Like, I, I really... You said like, you, got it, you got these on the way here. Listen, I just bought the red and white hats. Okay, I have okay. black on black. <laughs> I have you. orange. But see, I want to stick to the red and white. Okay. Because I thought about the um, Make America Great campaign, and it just stink. It just stands out. You love with Trump? Nah. Yes, you did. You don't want to say that. Yes, you did. Yeah. Did. <laughs> That's why he paused a little bit. He said, "I did." I just know you like nah. the. You know, I just. <laughs> you vote for Trump? Oh, he did. We didn't did. vote at all. He did. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and I'm. <laughs> Yeah, and I really want to, um, I guess I just done confused you, really. Are you confused? I think I'm good now. I think I understand. Y'all going to be running two businesses. I need money for marketing, and you are going to be in your house, and you just write the you write it on there. Yeah, and the reason why I write it on, because I didn't want to wait on people to print it on the hat. Just write it. Just write it no, on. I, yo, I actually think it's a brilliant business, because... You writing it with a Sharpie signifies that you don't have much right now. You know what I mean? It, yeah. feel, it feels like authentic, like, yo, I need money for marketing. So I got a hat and I just write it on there. Mm-hmm. And this is my marketing. Mm-hmm. I, I think, I actually think it's a really, really good idea. Like, no cap. No pun intended. No, it's I really, you. I think it's a really good idea. So what are we going to do? Because I don't know if, if y'all even have, are you an entrepreneur? Traditionally, you as an entrepreneur in the household, focusing on two people, focusing on two different businesses. Why didn't y'all just combine it and do one business, or y'all just do it just because y'all want to have fun? I need a. I would need a mic because. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't I worry about could, it. Okay. I'll put you on the hot seat next. Okay. <laughs> okay. I brought the press on idea to her. Yeah. I don't know nothing about press. I'm just paying attention. Yeah. 
It's a good idea. Yeah, so I brought it to her, and I just really, she gave me the information. We can make it happen. Okay. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm not moving on it until we have a budget for marketing because it's going to fail. If you don't have a budget for marketing? I think so. That's not true. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. Why do you think that? Because a lot of businesses that we have ran failed because of marketing. We reaching, we was only reaching people in our area. Because we not, yeah, that's it. We was only reaching people in our area, man. Okay. How much of a marketing budget do you need for, let's say, these hats? I don't need a marketing budget for the hats. Okay. How much money do we need as a marketing budget for the nails? It's endless. I don't think I should put a number on the cap for the marketing budget. So if I gave you $1,000, would you put the whole 1000 into marketing? Yes. Because the press on 97 cents a box. Yeah. So it's very cheap. Yeah. So like every every dollar would go towards the marketing. Every dollar? Every dollar. So I'm going to give you $10,000. You'll put the whole 10000 in the marketing. The whole 10000 So that means we, we would be not right up on the KISS, but we would be somewhere close to KISS. What's KISS? KISS Beauty. That's the number one brand, like the beauty brand that have press on nails. The number one beauty brand? Yeah. Kiss Beauty. How big do you think their company is? Very big. So you're saying if I gave you $10,000, you'll be right up under them? No, no, somewhere. like Not right up under them, but we'll be... You'll be nowhere near that. But it'll be better than not having zero dollars. You get what I'm saying? Well, maybe. We don't know. Sometimes having a marketing budget is worse than not having one. Hmm. Why do you think that? Because if I gave you $10,000 and you squandered it mm-hmm. and you put it in the wrong places, mm-hmm. you have lost 10000 whereas I don't have a marketing budget. I'm just going out to sell people I know. And if we have a marketing budget, we rely on the marketing budget. When the real work is, mm-hmm. we need to do all that we can to get the word out. I'm not relying on Facebook and Instagram ads to build my business. It takes st- strategy. So if you have a marketing budget, sometimes it cripples people. That's why you get these rich kids and their parents give them a hundred thousand dollars. They blow it because they put it all into marketing and they never learn to hustle. They never learn peer to peer connection. Mm -hmm. If I'm running ads Mm -hmm. and like people just see it and they don't buy, you know, first off, Facebook will eat your money. If you don't know what you're doing. And most people have no idea what they're doing. Even people who know what they're doing in Facebook ads, they get got to. It's true. Because there's so many factors. The product, the creative, which is like the content that goes out. The words, the funnel. All, like it's not just, I need money for marketing. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. But not if you don't know what you're doing. What would you do? I give you 10000 mm-hmm. What would you do with the money? As, as marketing for the press on nails. I will hit up someone that I know called Danielle. She teaches like ads and stuff like that. I would really go to talk to her. Okay. And then what? I guess if she give me a breakdown of what I need to do or what to help the business. Okay. I would go talk to her about it. Mm-hmm. And we'll make a decision. Yeah. So you need money for consulting, not marketing. That's what I'm saying. You don't even know what to do with a marketing budget. It just, that's the only, like, all I do is watch interviews. You know what I'm saying? And, like, this this what they talk about. Is no, me. they don't. They don't really talk about okay, hustling me, and bustling no more. You know what I'm saying? What's your favorite interview that you watch? With Marty. I think his name is Marty. Marty? Yep. Yeah. He didn't say nothing about a marketing budget. No, he didn't. Right. Give me, and, a, and give, that, me your other fa- give me your other favorite interview. Hmm. Whatever one you're about to say, they ain't say nothing about a marketing budget. Because I was going to say the um, the credit, I forgot what it's called. Exactly. You said but, that you watch a lot of interviews and that's all they, they talk they about. They don't say nothing about, about marketing they budget, about. budget, but they talk about marketing. Of course. But that doesn't have anything to do with a marketing budget. But your whole brand is sitting around need money for marketing. Mm-hmm. Do you? Yes. I think I still. What would so. you do with? I'm. Just, I keep asking what you're doing, and you, 
I said, what would you do if I gave you $10,000 for marketing? You said, well, I'd go hire somebody to talk to them about marketing. Yeah, so they can give me That's a breakdown. That's consulting. Mm-hmm. And they might take that whole 10000 if they're really good. If they're really good, they're taking the whole ten. You still have no money for marketing. Just change your brand. Need money for consulting. You're right. But it's it's a lot of people. It's got. I think need money for marketing. It'll, it'll connect with a lot of people because it's a lot of people thinking just how I'm thinking right now. I I'm not disagreeing with you. Mm-hmm. I think it's a I think it's a brilliant brand, and it's almost like I wish I thought of it. I really do. And if we didn't have this conversation and I just seen it somewhere, I would get a bunch of hats and I'd write something cool on the hat in marker and I would market that joint with no money. Handwritten hats. This is dope. I, I love the idea, actually. You know what, too? I think we, I'm thinking too deep in on, on the marketing, need money for marketing. I know I got it on the hat, but I really just want it to be just a a brand. And I want, you know what I'm saying? I don't want how to, how we were just talking about what would you do with the money. Mm-hmm. I don't think, yeah, you opened my mind. I, I just want the brand to just be out, need money for marketing. And like my, my name is N, the number four, dollar sign, M. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just a. I got box tees. I just be making, just coming up with ideas. I really What's, want to oh, need in money dollar for side for M. Okay, I got you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're right. You opened my mind, though. You got me. I just wanted you really to just get me going, get yeah. me thinking. Because, like, it's just me and her. We all, I'm always going to her. She's not really an entrepreneur. She's a teacher. So, like, it can get frustrating sometimes. I'm taking ideas to her. She's an entrepreneur, though. You're an entrepreneur, right? I'm not about to cause no issues. No, no, it's okay. Household. We over it. We over. But I don't like how you coming at sis saying she not a she is an entrepreneur. No, she don't. She don't even care about stuff. Yeah, know. You know what I'm saying? Know. Y'all been together since middle school. Yeah, we good. You know. Why you think you've been married since? Why you think you y'all been together since middle school? How long? How many years is that? Fourteen. Why you think you've been together fourteen, fifteen years? Because we started off as friends. I think so. And like, she she saw me at my lowest. I saw her at her lowest. Like we was kids. So really, we just don't grew together. We don't been to a lot of stages of life together, college, yeah. everything, and we just got married July the first. Yeah. And the reason why I locked in because my, this next chapter of my life, I don't want to have to be out here worrying about the next girl, the next this, and that. I just want to go and have that foundation locked in, so I can worry about other things, how we can grow and be better. I don't know. I love her. That's my girl. Oh yeah, that was a bad answer at first. For real. Yeah, I just want to lock that in. Just make sure we good. Yeah, I just didn't want to be out here worrying about. Yeah, but that's you know? a terrible reason to marry somebody because you don't want to be out here. Not nah, really rock with her. You know? I know clearly. Yeah. Wow, we not doing this right now. I'm sorry. Wow. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> but see, people when he said the answer, answer, were you thinking that's a bad answer? Were you? Were you, were you heard yeah. it before? But, but it's a bad answer for sure. <laughs> but you got to think, people not even asking us. People not ask you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Yeah, so I feel that. Wow. Man, you good at what you do. No, 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 no. We, we gonna get off that subject. No, you good. I ain't causing no issues at the crib, yeah, bro. Okay, man. <laughs> so Yeah, like I got a whole like okay. In 2018 I came up with an invention. Mm-hmm. I can I, I got it pan you it's pan pending or whatever, it's been pan pending or whatever, but it took me Four days to raise $5,000. I'm really a hustler. Like, I love mm. what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just come up with strategies and I just execute. Mm. So I came up with, the, I went to my pastor. I put, got some nice clothes and raised the money. I got stuck because people are not talking about having inventions. Mm. Like, you can go on YouTube, but they're not really talking about it. So I got lost. That's just sitting in my closet. Then I started a record label. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, it seemed like to me, you just start stuff and, and don't finish. <coughs> Bro, you really do watch my stuff. That's crazy. I really do. You're really good. Yep, I definitely really going to say that. So I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just me, man. I really just, because well, I'm from LaGrange, Georgia, and, like, people are not doing what I'm doing. 
people are not like coming up with an invention. I went through a mental bad mental space because I thought I was gonna be gonna be the next entrepreneur, not knowing it's a whole process, it's steps because people are not talking about it. Yeah, you're a good starter, and maybe coming from Lagrange, which just sounds like a small town. Yeah, in the small town mentality, mm-hmm. there's a lid that we get to. If you make too much money, if you start getting too close to the lid, you're going to self-sabotage and do something to make sure you don't get over that lid. That's why the nine fifty a week, which is almost $4,000 a month. Not enough. It might be your lid. You're like, whoa, this was a little bit too easy. Two hours a day, I get to, yeah. I get to live a good life. I can't, I can't do no more than this. I'm not about to take no, no, no another hour. So I can increase my income by fifty percent and make six thousand. You got a lid. You got a small town lid. That's why you're gonna start stuff and stop it because it's gonna become too successful. You're like, whoa, whoa, I'm getting close to that lid. I need to stop doing this and start something else that I'm passionate about. And you're gonna start and stop and start and stop and start and stop. And there's a pattern because you come from a small town and you do not want to get over that lid. Wow. And some of your friends might look at you crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you mean to tell me you work four hours a week, uh, four hours a day, and you make $100,000 a year because that will lead you yeah. to $8,000 a month? Of course, I can't do that because my friends in LaGrange would say, no, you change. I, hey, nah, y'all, I only work two hours, I only make 4000 It's a lid. It's, it's something going on mentally for you. We can't become too successful. What do you think it is? I think it's your environment. I agree. We gotta change environments. We gotta get around a different circle of people. That's what I've been trying to do too. Like I joined the Dream Center Church of Atlanta, mm-hmm. like marketing Monterey and all. Like I be, you know what I'm saying. So like I've been trying to just be around different people because I I deserve to be around them. I feel like it. You know, mm-hmm. I think so. Why? Because we really. Thinking this, I feel like we're thinking the same. I'm just not actually executing what I'm thinking like them. Yeah, you know, I think you'll execute to a certain level. It's just that Monray's lid is way higher. Yeah, exactly. But just going to the same church doesn't mean you're around them. You got to start like really start building a community Mm -hmm. around yourself of these people. You got to figure out pay some people for. Marketing. I mean, pay for, pay some people for <laughs> consulting. Pay some people to be, you know, coached one on one or whatever. But you got to get somebody to break you out of that mindset because it doesn't make sense to spend twenty two hours a day doing nothing and two hours a day working. She didn't work all day as a teacher. And you just be at the crib playing with your feet. Just no, I really do. Be, I be. I think I'd be working. You know what I'm saying? Like. On what? Okay, back home, it's a lot of people. They just they they think I I I don't talk myself a lot, so they always coming to me, coming to me, coming to me, and I just do different things for them. They paying me, you know, like yeah, making sure that lid on. Wow, you working all day just talking to your friends from Lagrange from back home, and all my clients are back. Home. It's crazy. There's a lid. There's a lid. You probably charge them fifty dollars. You can't charge too much for a website because, woo, if I start doing that, so many people, this lid. You're right. And maybe I, that's why they come to me, too. A hundred percent. Because you open, like, bro, there are people who call me who I love. Mm-hmm. And I don't answer the phone. Now, very rarely do I see the call. But when I see I missed it, I can't call it back because I know what you're going to talk about. Mm-hmm. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about what so-and-so did. No, I'm not coming to the club with you. Right. No, we're not going to the lounge. No, I'm cool. I'm very selective with who I call back. Now, somebody's watching this. I meant to call you back. I just forgot. Gotcha. That's my disclaimer. Gotcha. If you are my partner, I'm talking about everybody else. I'm not talking about you. Mm-hmm. See how I fixed that? 
I got a question for you. Before you got in this space, like, with your podcast stuff, who were your friends? Like, were they on the same thing you was on? Like, you working at the Cheesecake Factory? Like, because you always had a mindset, and you was always on a mission with your T-shirts at the mall. Mm -hmm. Were your friends doing the same thing? What were they doing? Well, the the word friend is kind of ambiguous. So... I've been in uh, network marketing for a long time. Never really made any money, but I've been in an envir environment. And in network marketing, they're always thinking, how can we make more money? How can we okay. get to that next level? Right. So I had a professional group that I'm always around because I'm always trying to figure out how to get to the money. And I was surrounded around other people that was always trying to figure out how to get to the money. So we always figured out how to get to the money. Now, so my friends uh, that, let's say I grew up with, they're still my dogs. Okay. We just don't talk that much because you're doing whatever you're doing and I'm doing whatever I'm doing. But then I started reading books and I started listening. They didn't really have, they didn't have podcasts back then, but I'm listening to audio books and I'm watching everything Jim Rohn had on YouTube. But the difference between me and the other people who like listen to podcasts all day mm -hmm. is I actually go execute. Right. I go try the stuff that I saw. Right. Or I try what I heard. Somebody said, yo, you got to go for no. I heard this. Or this guy, he was like, yo, go for no. See how many no's you can get in a day. So I'm asking people to buy this hat. I asked you, yo, would you like to buy this hat? They say no. I said, great. Yeah, I, I see how many no's we can get in a row. Yeah. And then the 12th time I asked somebody, they say yes. I'm like, dang, y'all done messed up my little streak. Now I got to go get back 12 no's. And then people say, yes, yes, yes. I'm like, ah, I got to get my no's. And I started building the business. But the difference is somebody, you might see that mm -hmm. and be like, oh, that's cool. Write some notes and put something on Facebook. But I'm actually going outside. It's a difference. But I don't know how to teach somebody how to do that, though. You got to be in them, I think. I think so. Yeah. I wish I could teach someone how to be ambitious and how to execute. And how to get past idea phase. This is a very bad example. But it's a really good example. It's just not like children friendly. So Eric Thomas, he did a presentation one time. And I'll never forget it. And he said, he calls it, uh, he called it, uh, what's it called? Mental Master B. He late Galatian. You know what I mean? Whatever, right? He said, people feel so good talking about their idea because when I talk to you about your idea, you light up. You're like, yo, that's a really good idea. And I get energized like, yo, I'm brilliant. I'll be coming up with these concepts, bro. But you don't want to execute on an idea because now you can't talk about the idea anymore. It's just, I feel so good talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. Like, I, I, I need to build that up. It just feels so good to be talking about it. If I actually do something, it takes away my, ex, it takes away my being able to talk about it because I'm actually doing it. I don't want to do that. Gotcha. So we'll talk, 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 be excited. And I'll keep coming up with these ideas because it feels good to talk about ideas. And some people live in the idea space and they always love to talk about how they're preparing and getting it ready. Or I'm about to. Or yo, I'm working on this. Mm -hmm. That was that was me at one point in time. That's you today. I agree. We're gonna fix it though. Yeah, we're gonna Moving fix forward. it for real. Cause like, yeah. I've been doing this so long. Feel I'm only 28, but it's like I've just been doing it for so long. Clothes and brand in middle school, invention. Just and I'm ready to just lock in yeah. on one thing. You know. How much money do you want to make? How much money do I want to make? Yeah. Yearly? Yeah, it's yearly. What you think? I think right now, cool million will be okay. It's not cool enough, million. though. I feel sure? Like it might be. It's, it's just it's a, a lot of money, bro. It's a it's a lot. I, I, I mean, I never had. had I don't, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Yeah, Imagine you making a million dollars, what the people in LaGrange will say about you. Yeah. <laughs> what they are, you know what I'm saying? Like, Boy, rich out here. You probably lit right now to your friends in Lagrange. Cause another another story, like my uncle played baseball. Mm -hmm. He retired. My little cousin played baseball. I've been on private jet, so like I already have that 
they already looking at me like that in Lagrange. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so you don't got to really actually produce nothing else. That's the problem. Go make a million dollars. Figure out how to make a million dollars. Map it out. How many clip-on nails do we have to sell to make a million dollars? How many hats we got to sell to make a million dollars? And you might find that, yo, to make a million dollars, it's tw- about 27, 2,700 and about $40 every single day. How many hats you got to write on? To make 2,000? <laughs> Golly. But now we think about that. We start expanding. Yo, you know what, babe? I can't write that much. Mm-hmm. But if we get, if we start building out this clip on nail brand, we could just start distributing. Like, we could, look, you quit your job, I quit driving, we're gonna be in the house fulfilling. Then we're gonna bring on other people to do the fulfillment. Then we get a warehouse. And then, okay, now I can see us making $2,000 a month, a day. So am I, small, a day. am I thinking small with this? I don't think you're thinking small, you just haven't thought it through, period. Okay. We just you just have the idea. You just do an idea. Yeah, right. For a little while, and then you'll stop, and you'll be doing another idea. I just need us to lock in. Gotcha. I appreciate. Y'all gonna lock in? Yeah. Yes. All right, yo, hold them accountable, okay? And you know what buttons to push. You know how to keep them motivated. Y'all been together since middle school. Right. But you will do yourself a disservice if you keep prying yourself on your creativity and your ideas. I don't pride myself on that stuff anymore. I used to. Mm-hmm. I used to be the person, yo. Somebody come to me, I, well, I got ideas for days. I used to pride myself on that stuff. I don't anymore because that shows a lack of something. I pride myself on execution. Look what I built. I pride myself on the fact that I've done something mm-hmm. for a long time. That's gotcha. what I pride myself on. Got you. Like this, what you built? 100%. Wow. Absolutely. I've like been in that. this podcasting space for almost six years now. I produce four sh- you know, I produce four shows a week. There are some people that are having a hard time producing a show every I produce four different shows every single week. Every Monday I release an episode of me interviewing somebody. Every Thursday, me and Donnie release an episode. Every single Thursday, me and my co-host, we release an episode. Every Friday I do a live YouTube show. And we're on that joint for two, three hours. Every single Friday, every Sunday, we release a hot seat. I'm running four shows simultaneously every single week. I pride myself on execution. Mm-hmm. I want you to pride yourself on execution, not ideas. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. I appreciate it. Good job, man. If you like the video that you just watched, click this one. You're going to like this one, maybe even more. Click it right now.